Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and yep, I'm feeling so much better now, um, I'm still taking my time to rest but I had to make this video, I said, you know, I said to myself even though I'm taking rest, um, it's just a couple of minutes, right? So, so look at this. Um, we will be having our next job balancing. Okay, next job balancing in a couple of days. It's just a sneak peek. I don't know where, when will, will they, uh, you know, um, update this. But here it is. Job balancing sneak peek. Oh, yes. I am really happy about this. You know why? Because it's, I think it's evidently a buff. Okay, a set of buffs. So which one, which jobs will get the buffs? Let's see. Okay, let's look at the first one, Maestro and Wanderer. Oh, yes. Okay, they're buffing the damage again. I'm so happy that they're doing this. Hyper Boom. Okay, Hyper Boom. The damage multiplier of the damage dealt upon transforming into the Devil is increased from 2,920% to... Uh, no, no, 1,000. From 1,460 percent so it's this one right um this one okay this is 1460 percent okay upon transforming okay not the dominion impulse but the damage that you deal when you transform into a devil using hyper boom that's the only damage that will be increased here so it's this one from 1460 it's now 2920 double damage they doubled the multiplier i'm so happy about that next okay next dominion impulse and uh, no no not that one impulse domain i'm so happy that you can now cast impulse domain when using hyper boom it's just freaking scary to just use hyper boom and there's only one impulse domain on the area you have to have like three impulse domain so that you could uh, you know utilize the damage of the hyper boom when you cast dominion impulse repeatedly right so now they you can now use impulse domain whenever you use dominion imp oh no no you can now use impulse domain whenever you use hyper boom I'm so happy about this. Okay, next, it, uh, after cast delay of a severe rainstorm is shortened. Oh, that's so good. Now we can spam more skills. This is just so good. Okay, that's nice. Next, they buffed the ranger again, guys. They buffed the ranger again. The global cooldown of arrow storm in PvP scenarios are now reduced from 1.8 seconds to one second oh, arrow storm one second reduction on global cooldown next warg dash they have shortened the distance from eight meters to four meters then but you get shorter cooldown with it six seconds now but wait 14 11 8 7 6 this is 16 14 12 7 6 oh on lower level its cooldown is lower so you can now adjust it so that you can just you know you can just use level 3 instead of level 5 level 3 has 8 second cooldown it's okay anyway its damage bonus from vulnerable effect is increased from 20% uh, from 5 8 it has been it has been uh, you know consistent now it's consistent from an increasing percentage to an in consistent 20%. Okay. The skill multiplier is increased from 200 to 400%. Oh, yeah. Disengage can be cast while mounting a warg. Okay. Warg dash can now be cast again with within two seconds after use. Okay. Next. Mechanic. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. Shout out to all of the mechanics who have been waiting for the buff. This is it. After cast delay of FAW turret is shortened. Uh, FAW upgrade kit is shortened also. The after cast delay and its activation time is brought forward. After cast, after cast delay of focus fire is also shortened. 
Madugir. Okay, Madugir now includes a passive effect. You gain a shield that absorbs up to 15% of max HP per 20 seconds when piloting Madugir. Oh my goodness, you have become a serious tank now. Okay, next, Neutral Barrier now includes a passive effect while piloting Madugir. If the skill is not under cooldown, restores 10% of your missing HP per 5 seconds. Not that much, but in PvP, maybe it, maybe it will be you know worthwhile, but not a big one. Still, the aftercast delay of FAW is good and uh, Madogear, okay? They have buffed up the ta tanking capability of the Madogear build. It's so good now, okay? Grand Summoner. Oh! oh. I thought they're buffing again the Doram on the p physical damage. I thought it was physical damage. Okay, the skill multiplier of C Vortex is now 1,700%. To 1500 percent then the treadstone is now 100 percent trigger holy shit holy this is gonna be so good on pvp everybody's gonna wear level one treadstone now it's 100 percent trigger everybody's gonna get that oh my goodness anyway next oh yeah baby let's go Royal Guard. Okay, Royal Guard. Sigil Tablet. Okay, the Sigil... They have not yet released a Sigil ta ta Tablet for Sorcerer and for Wanderer. I wonder when will they release that. Royal Oath, Sigil Tablet. So when in defense stance, party members within 6 meters with no HP lower than 80% of their, uh, their max HP take 10% less damage. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wait. Maybe this is the, the... Wait, this is before, right? When in defense stance, receiving a fatal attack will gain unstoppable effects for 3 seconds. Keeping the HP no longer no lower than 1 than, than one, and reduce healing taken by 100%. Followed by immediate death. Okay. <laughs> when in defense stance, damage the reduction effect for nearby party members is increased to 20%. And can be triggered when their HP is no lower than 70%. And the last level or the highest tier, the duration of unstoppable effect extends to 6 seconds. With the CD reduced to 90 seconds from 150 seconds. Oh my god. And imagine those RGs are gonna also have Osiris. Not only Osiris and even other sigils. That prevents them from dying upon immediate death being triggered instantly restore 20 percent hp for party members within six seconds now next for the other one the other uh, job sigil now in uh, warrior sigil now includes a passive effect when dealing damage with crescent slasher the duration of warrior zeal is extended by one second excluding the one provided by divine majesty which cannot exceed the original time limit okay Plus one second. Next, Shura. Let's go. I, I'm not sure if you can see Shura. Maybe now you can see. Okay, there you go. You can now see Shura. Where is Shura? There you go. Oh my god, you don't see it. Okay, there. I have to take a breath. Okay. Okay, this is just... This is also Sigil. Job Sigil. Upon skill hits of Zeal of Will, gain one stack of melee boon and skill damage 1% for 8 seconds, up to 18 stacks. Is this real? Is this for real? 18% skill damage, 18% melee boon. Oh, this is too much. So good. Okay, next. Each stack of melee boon grants movement speed 1%, so 18% movement speed. Each stack of melee boon grants skill damage plus movement speed additionally. So now it's not just not just 1%, it's 1.5% per stack. So that's gonna be like around 27% skill damage. Upon skill hits, gain additional stack of melee boon. Oh my god, grant melee, melee hits a great granting another stack. It's easier now to stack. It's easier to stack on level 4. Oh, this is so good. I wish this is available on other jobs. <laughs> what do you think about this, Shura players? 
Um, next, a gentle touch. Transform, transform from a melee to a range skill with an 8 meter range. It's now apply an interrupt effect in its global cooldown is resist 0.5 seconds from 1 second. And its after cast delay is shortened on the gentle touch. The skill. Gentle touch. Quiet. Okay. I don't remember what that is, but it sounds good. Transforms to a range skill. Gentle touch is now a range skill with an 8 meter range. That's That's good. That's high. Anyway, what do you think about this? I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy about uh what they're doing. Hopefully they release a, a you know a buff to to other job classes, you know, relevant job classes. More buff to the maestro. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> but anyway, that's it guys. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh hopefully tomorrow I'll be better to stream. And that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.